Hello and welcome to another episode of Top Deck, the series where we take a look at some of the leading TCG deck lists. This time we have Vlad's Trickstar deck list from the Furhouse Dublin Regional. He came third place going 5-1 in Swiss, only losing the last round, uh, and you can see there's an interesting package of spirals in here. So what we'll do is we'll run through the deck quickly, go through the rounds, and then we'll bring on Vlad to have a chat about the deck itself. So to start off, triple Candina, triple Ligorous, and one Lilybell. Triple Eater of Millions, the one Super Agent, Triple Ash Blossom, Triple Ghost Ogre, and Triple Troll, uh, Triple Trickstar Light Stage, and the one Resort, as well as Set Rotation, so you can play this if you have multiple field spells, so, but throw in a Resort and suddenly you have an additional way of searching your Light Stage, which is good. Three copies of Terraforming, and three copies of Desires, then a Triple Scapegoat, and Triple Reincarnation, one Judgment and Double Strike. For the extra, one Breaksword, one Baguska, one Utopia and Utopia Lightning, so these are accessible with your additional level 4 summons. Two Link Spiders, a Proxy, a Mrs. Radiant, an Ib, a Holly Angel, a Deco Talker, Nengisu, Firewall, Topological, and a Borrowload. For the side deck, double Gamma Seal, one Regeki, one Dark Hole, triple Mind Control, double Twin Twisters, Triple Dimensional Barrier and Triple Typhoon. So cool to see this in the second deck list uh, that's featuring it so far on the channel. Uh, so the matchups that Vlad played, uh, round one against True Draco, he won 2-1. Round two against uh, some kid he has put, he put uh, he won 2-0. Against uh, Spiral in round three, he won 2-1. Round four against ABC, he won 2-0. Round five against Invoked Mech Knight, he won 2-1. And round 6 was his only loss, which was against True Draco, where he went 1-2. Uh, so let's bring on Vlad to have a chat about the deck. Hi Vlad, how are you doing? I'm doing well, how are you doing? Uh, very well, thank you. Uh, congratulations on uh, getting 3rd place at the uh, Dublin Regional. Thank you very much. Really interesting deck, uh, with the uh, nice little spiral package in here. It's, it's a bit random, but there's, a, there's there's some good reasoning behind it. Okay, so uh, what I'll do is, uh, I've, I've been through the list already. Um, I think most of it is very similar to what we've seen with some yeah, Trickstar yeah. lists before. So really, yeah, the, the only spicy thing in the main would be the Spiral Engine. So do you want to yeah. go over why you played that? Right, okay, so um, uh, when I was playing Trickstar at the start, I didn't think it was like too great because... Um, it, it, it was like quite linear, and then it was like really easy to like stop the plays because like if they ash the reincarnation or something, you kind of just like didn't have anything to do in your opponent's turn. And yep. I also had like these like problems where I'd be opening like multiple like terraformings and like light stages, and like those hands don't really help a lot. So I was yeah. like thinking, okay, what what kind of like field spell like engine that I could put in that would be like an extra monster that lets me do like turn one plays. So <laughs> I was thinking, and then I saw some like um, a list from Japan, the OCG, and they were playing yeah. like. Um, like say rotations and super agents, but they're playing it for like a different reason because they only have one yep. terraforming over there. So like the trickster decks are like a lot less consistent. So they have to fit, fit in the space with the two say rotations and like you know like spiral resort and stuff. But I'm, mm -hmm. I'm playing it for kind of like a different reason. Like obviously like say rotations still like a star card in the deck because there, you do have the hands where it's like oh I don't have Candina like I just lose sometimes. Yeah. But um, with the spiral resort, um, even if you like uh, if you hard draw it's completely fine. Like uh, obviously like if you're drawing the server rotation later it's it's like a bit worse, but um, yeah. It just means that um, uh, a Spiral Agent can just become like a turn one Baguska, uh, depending on what mm -hmm. matchup you're playing against. Um, I was yeah. playing Tornado Dragon and Dweller in the extract before, uh, but then I decided to cut them for uh, Top Ledge Bomb Dragon and uh, Deco Talker. Uh, I probably yeah. would cut Deco Talker though in the future. Um, I'd probably put in okay. like another rank four, probably. But um, And the other cool thing about Super Agent is even if you don't get it right, you get to see what their top deck is, so you know whether or not you want to use Reincarnation to draw a phase or not. Um, yeah, like, that's really solid. Um, so, uh, like, especially in the mid to late games, you can just like um, call agent. Like, just say if you don't need to put the agent on board. Like, just say if you want to save yeah. it for next turn, like scapegoat or something. You can just like uh, call a trap off of super agent or something, and then you get to see yeah. what they're top decking, and then you get to kind of like play around. Um, you know what they have, because like a lot of decks yeah. in the format, you can just like see what what's in their hand. So if you know what's in their top deck as well, you kind of can just like control every variable in the game. So yeah, yeah. it's it's pretty precious. The only reason I really played it, it's pretty cool though. Yeah, it's really nice, especially with uh, the fact that Trickstar in itself is generally quite a control deck, so yeah, having yeah. that extra insight into what your opponent's doing is very, very cool. Um, 
so I think yeah, the rest of the main is pretty much standard. Um, the the judgment turn out to be good for you. Yeah, um, so I had like three spots left in my deck after fitting in like every kind of like mandatory card. So it was like three mm -hmm. Candina, the three Licorice, and like, you know. And I think like cards like um, Eater Millions are like pretty uh, stable, because it actually yeah. just like it's so hard to be a single monster, it's <laughs> actually ridiculous. And then like I think Three Desires is like just the, it's just no reason not to play three. It's just like the yeah. best card in the game, like three scapegoat, like all these other things. I was like, okay, um, what else can I put in? I was like, okay, I'm thinking like, okay, maybe like Torrential, but then Torrential's like kind of weak when you already have like a board i was like thinking mm. right what, what cards can i put in that are just like good in like most stages of the game and are just like yep. powerful as well so i was like thinking right maybe like tree of fake failures and i was like uh it's like the meta and am i uh the regional was like a bunch of true draco so i didn't really want yep. failure for that matchup um and also like for other like trickstar mirrors or, or something like that so i was like okay <laughs> i'll just put an actual trap cards in my deck so i was like thinking okay, okay <laughs> three strikes um, and I was like, okay, maybe one warning, two strike, and I was like, mm. I was like, oh, I can just put in judgment because that card's back. So, yeah. yeah, judgment's like another free negate, which is like insane. Um, mm -hmm. and and I it, think, it goes uh, out yeah. a lot though. Uh, Trickstar yeah. is like Trickstar Mirror is like really scary. You do not want to keep in judgment. It's, it's like oh, <laughs> you 4K, you Lily Bell attack directly. Oh, <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really rough. But uh, having it in is like also uh, playing judgment over like warning and things just because. Judgment is significantly better later in the game, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, it, like, like it, there are times when like warnings better because like sometimes the life point cost is a bit too high. But uh, mm. there are also times when like if you're top decking, like solemn judgment is just like a powerful card because it stops their yeah. powerful card that they get. Like just say if they have like um, like scapegoats or something, right? Like obviously warning yeah, can do yep. uh, the same job there, but judgment can also negate things like Regeki if, if you need to. It's, it never really comes up because like Regeki yeah. is awful against Trickstar, but um, but if there's anything that would blow you out, you have the answer. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's, it's, it's uh, so the yeah uh, for the extra deck, obviously, uh, the, if you've seen the previous Trickstar list we've had on the channel, most of them are sort of avoid the rank four engine, but because yeah. you have the the super agent, do you yeah. think that? Baguska and the Utopias are the best ones, then? Yeah, um, Baguska's, like, the best turn 1 XYZ, bar, like, Dweller and, like, Tornado Dragon, but for the meta, mm -hmm. I, th I think, uh, Baguska's just a bit better. Um, and then yeah. Utopia Lightning comes up a lot when you're going second, because, um, most of the time you can just bait out their negates with whatever you have in hand, like, assuming you don't, like, draw too many, like, trap cards or whatever. Um, yeah. So when you're going second most of the time, it happens a lot after siding more than often because I side out all, like mm -hmm. all my trap cards when I go second. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I just don't want to draw them like when I'm trying to make a board. So what usually mm -hmm. happens is you like bait out near your gate, and then you just make a utopia lighting and swing over to the last threat, and then you just like yeah. have your hand of like full of hand traps and like scapegoats, and you set those, and then the following turn they're just like their life points at zero. So yeah, that's true. And um, I think having the utopia as well because. Uh, it's one of the few cards that you can just sort of throw in the extra deck that can out pretty much yeah. every deck's boss monster at the moment. Yeah, it, it's a really, really strong card. It's it's, it's ridiculous. It, it makes your like power ceiling like s like so much bigger because like then again like this is like the meme with Trickstar, I guess, where people are like, oh, how would you get over an eighteen hundred monster? <laughs> Which is it's just an actual like true thing. You can't get over nine eighteen hundred. Like <laughs> so hard. Like they summon tough, and you're just scratching your head for twenty minutes. <laughs> like, <laughs> but yeah, like Utopia Lighting is just like so so solid. Yeah, it, yeah, it looks like it would be really really fun to play. Did uh did Break Sword come up much? Um, Break Sword, oddly enough, does come up a bunch. Since then, I'm playing like the added field spell, the situations <laughs> where you have multiple Lily Bells, or not like Lily Bells, sorry, um, Licorice, come up a lot. Yep. And um, there, there's like, there are situations where you need to go um, like double Licorice into Break Sword, Break Sword pop your set reincarnation on their whatever they have, and then the reincarnation yep. brings back like Lily. So you just yeah, get to like uh, do a bunch. I have like the double. Um, like licorice thing with with like just say you made like holly angel you linked away mm -hmm. something and uh lily bell to make holly angel and then you set uh reincarnation from your hand you make the break sword you pop the reincarnation with break sword and now you have licorice yep. and lily bell engraved so you like uh bring back lily bell off of reincarnation and then the lily bell also has a target engrave to add back so yeah that's cool so it's, it's a pretty strong play yeah that's really nice Good, uh, good set of interactions. And uh, the rest of the extra, you said Deco Talker underperformed a bit then. Um, yeah, um, I, I card and possibly triple burst dragon. Um, it, it, it's it's kind of weird because like Deco Talker can get up can get up like really high um, attack points and it has like the like um, 
the thing where it's like really good against Draco because it's like stops the true Draco spells and traps from destroying your stuff because you can like negate them yep. with Deco Talker. But Triple Burst is pretty cool because um, it's it's really good in time. Like even though Trixar is already good in time, Triple Burst Dragon can do piercing damage and also can mm-hmm. negate anything that activates into damage stuff. So just say if you're uh, like playing against like some kind of rogue deck or just say like you're attacking to an Eater of Millions, um, you can negate the Eater of Millions banish effect with the Triple Burst Dragon because it negates yep. anything that activates into damage stuff. So that's like a like a cool interaction you can have. But like other yeah. than that, I think Deco is probably better in like mostly every other situation because Deco Talker is like really easy to make with like mind control and stuff because you just like take your Electromite mm-hmm. and then just like yeah. make a Deco out of it. So yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's probably the best uh, generic that you can go into then yeah. when yeah. you're in that sort of situation because otherwise you'd have to go for something bigger and you need yeah, more yeah, resources yeah. to get into it. Yeah. It's the other problem uh, with Trickster is like low attack point monsters. <laughs> yeah, sadly. Uh, for the uh, side deck, uh, yeah. you ran double Gamma Seal. Was that okay for you? Uh, yeah, Gamma Seal's fine. I kind of wish I played like um, more of them, but uh, mm-hmm. like the, uh, it's it's really awkward because I really want to play cards like Sphere Mode, but it's like really impossible to play those cards because you're like yeah. number one so important. So it's just like that's the side of the picture. It's like really hard to break mm-hmm. boards otherwise, and I didn't have access to evenly matched, so um, I had to just like do, make do with what I had. So I just played like uh, Gamma so, Seal. Yeah. Um, but Gamma Seal uh, fine. Is that- uh, it, it outs like every th- single thing you like you would want to out. I kind of wish um, yeah. I had like a Kashuk Magician on my side deck because you can mm-hmm. uh, make it with like the fairies in the deck. But most of the time, you'd rather be making any literally anything else because like you you even want to like keep your monsters on board. But uh, yeah, the Kashuk Magician like thing might come up. I don't know. I'm not I'm not too sure. But um, like Gamma Seal is just there for True Draco. Um, and yeah. I, I put it going second against like Magician as well. Um, going second against Magician, I take out like the trap. Like I, I take out um, like a one reincarnation in the, the other tree traps, and then I just put mm-hmm. in uh, like red geggies and dark holes and like animal seals. Yeah, Is that because take you out. need to. Uh, yeah. You just really need to break their board going second. Um, like the yeah. storm strikes and stuff don't do anything when you're going second. And same thing with yeah. the reincarnation. Um, you don't want to draw reincarnation when you're going second. Um, mm-hmm. And you can always just search it if you need it. So like, it is like unfortunate if you banish uh, like two of the sires, but you, you just make it do with what you have. Yeah, and I think if you if you as you said you, you're keeping in two of them, you're probably going to be alright if you resolve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. And uh, you've got the Regeki Dark Hole Triple Mind uh, Control. Is that just like pushing through boards, basically? Uh, yeah, it's another like pushing through boards thing. Uh, the other thing I take out when I'm going second against Magician is like um, I think I take out Drolls or something. I, I don't like, exactly okay. remember what my starting patterns were, but um, I just take out um, all the re- mediocre cards against Magician. There's like seven <laughs> cards. I take out. Yeah, there's seven cards I take out. It's the Reincarnation Tree Trap cards, and then the Tree Drolls, and then I put in yeah. uh, two Gamaseal. Um, tree mind control in the two, Regeki Darko. Um, yeah. Because it's just like, uh, you just need to bait out their negates and just like squash their, the rest of their board because they don't really end up with cards in hand. So once mm-hmm. you break their board, it's like, you just, you just win. Um, mind control is really good and the tricks are mirror too. It's like quite underrated because when they end up with um, like Licorice or whatever, um, you can like take the Licorice. So, because uh, you, you, it, it lets you like put two tricks or monsters on the board because it's like really mm-hmm. hard otherwise. Um, because obviously Licorice bounces the only Trixar monster you have, so you need like multiple uh, Licorices to be able to make um, a Hollow Angel. Like, and then yeah. at that point, it's like not even worth it. So if you open um, like any Trixar monster, like if you open Candina Mind Control um, against a board of just like Licorice, I just say you like uh, Mind mm-hmm. Control their Licorice. Um, you normal summon Candina. Candina adds Light Stage. Uh, light Stage. Um, well, you don't activate the Light Stage yet. You link it to yep. Hollow Angel, and then because um, yep. you took their Licorice, and then. You activate the light stage, grabbing Lillibell, and then Lillibell splash summons itself. Um, yeah. Okay. And then you have like a bunch of damage there. Um, yeah. You obviously yeah. wouldn't do it if you have like um, if you kind of like trying to play around reincarnation because they were just reincarnation mm. to Lillibell every hand, and that's what yeah. like that's the worst case scenario in the Trixar mirror. You want to keep like Lillibell until like, you know there's just no late reincarnation left. Um, yeah. Like even something scary, just like desiring against the mirror match, um, just because like Lillibell is so important <laughs> in the mirror. Uh, same thing with like scapegoat and like eater millions, but like little else is like the game ender mostly. Most of the mm-hmm. time. Yeah, that's fair enough. Uh, do you think Holly Angels are a pretty solid card to bring out then? Because I've seen a lot of people just who either don't run it or just don't make it because uh, um, Holly they Angels feel like, it's like not one of the like most ridiculous link twos I think. Like it with mm-hmm. like so it's a link two and it's based at is two thousand, which is yeah. already like really good. <laughs> um, like it, it's Unless like you really over those eighteen hundreds. Yeah, uh, like the 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 biggest one before that was like yeah it was just uh, 1900 with like the Mrs. Radiant cards, 
Um, yeah. They're like the biggest like attack ceiling for Link 2s. And then like Hollow Angel came out, and I was like, oh, what? Like, the power creep, but... Um, like, Hollow Angel is like ridiculous. It can get up to <laughs> so much attack points just because of its own effect. Like Hollow Angel and like uh, Lilith Bell is like, I don't even know the numbers, but it's like a lot of damage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Like most of the time, I'm just looking at my uh, opponent's life points just to kind of slowly tick down to zero whenever I summon Hollow Angel. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, like Hollow Angel is like really cool. Um, like if people don't read it properly or like just don't pay attention, they'll try to like destroy your. I guess it, like it didn't matter now, but people used to try to like target your trick stars with Dryden. Um, yep. like when you're under Hollow Angel, and you're just like you just point to Hollow Angel like five times until they realize your trick stars can't be from a battle. <laughs> or right. it. So it's just like, oh, okay, I guess I lose on that, and then you're like, yeah, okay, you are, you are dead. Um, yeah. yeah, um, like that doesn't happen too much anymore because there isn't like much interaction on your opponent's turn that like would stop your mm. trick stars. Um, like during the battle phase, the only thing that would like stop them is like torrential tribute if anyone on the planet plays that card, and um, <laughs> time pendulum graph thing if people still play that card. I uh, wish yeah. people like still do because people will try to go oh, time pen and graph uh, pop your uh, pop your licorice and then you're like can't be sure about battle card effects and they're like oh okay oh okay yeah I guess I'll take that damage then yeah yeah that's that's pretty pretty solid having that additional effect in there um, you said the rest of the deck was the rest of the extra story was uh, pretty solid then yeah uh, it's, it's it's pretty standard there's nothing like yeah. too like out there really I think uh, probably the the last bit of uh, Last bit that's a bit out there, as you say, is uh, Typhoon. Yeah, Typhoon. Yeah, um, I've been trying to convince people that Typhoon has been a good card for months, and then everyone's yeah. like, "Okay, yeah, it's it's decent, it's decent." And then I was like, "Okay, how do I side against Stu Draco?" Because I'm like, "Okay, this matchup is <laughs> literally impossible. They summon yeah. one Majesty Maiden, and you're just sweating bullets. You're just like, oh, how do I out a 2300 monster? Sorry, 2600 <laughs> diagram. Yeah. Can't throw yeah. my battle last per turn, and you're just like sweating bullets. <laughs> oh, how do I like?" And then they just throw a masterpiece. It's like, oh, it's all over. And then, like, yeah. even when you're trying to go second against that, like, they go, ah, oh, normal summon, I'm on a wano. And then you're like, ah, oh, my hand traps are useless. So I was like, okay, what is the only card, like, possible to play that can maybe stop True Drake? And I was like, oh, Typhoon. Mm-hmm. It's not a monster. So you can activate it from yeah. round their turn. Um, and it's, like, good. Like, it has, like, nice overlaps versus, like, back row decks. Like, if you play against mm-hmm. you know, Stun Deck or something. Um, they like flip any spell or something on you. You go bam, yeah. hit him with the typhoon. Because um, it's like it's just like another copy of like it's kind of like cosmic cyclone, where it also kind of like now has a nice overlap where it's also a hand trap on their turn. Um, yeah. Like you could play like um, cosmic over it, but I I like typhoon. Um, I also this is probably like the only like time I get to play typhoon in, like ages. So I, <laughs> I need one excuse to play the card. Um, I've been playing the card since it came out. Like Necros was like like three of those crazy. But um, yeah, typhoon is yeah. like, really. Um, it's not like yeah. it has it has to have like a specific matchup you have to play against. Like I played against Spiral in Swiss, and um, mm-hmm. this this card was ridiculous for me. It was so good. Like um, <laughs> so like the guy had like Dragon Ravine, and then he I tried activating Big Red, and I activated Typhoon from hand, uh, destroying the uh, Big Red. Yep. And then he's like, "Oh wow, what?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and then, uh, he just like had to pass, and I just went, "Okay, normal summon Lily Bell, like, <laughs> magic." Um, Man, uh, like Typhoon has like nice little um, like implications. Like you can, uh, as any spell, like any floodgate. Um, like you can draw into it later. Like just say if like mm-hmm. games are going longer, you draw into it and you're just, like under any spell and you have like nothing up. You go bam, hit it with the Typhoon. Um, yeah. You're just like out of like whereas like if you top the like, Cosmic Cyclone or something like later on under any spell or something like that, then you're just like oh okay, so this card is completely useless. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, there's usually not that enough turns in the game to like. To make that even uh, <laughs> uh, like a uh, worthy or not worthy, to get but into um, the top deck a, a, a common occurrence. Yeah, is a uh, is the best part of this card then the look on your opponent's face when you play it? Uh, yeah, they have to read it a couple of times, and they're just like, "What?" <laughs> and then like you set it, and then and they're like, "Oh, you can only activate it if you have no no spell and traps." It's like, uh, you can activate <laughs> it when it's set, Mister. Hit yeah. him with the typhoon. Um, <laughs> But yeah, like people try to go, uh, no, uh I normal summon inspector board, or where are your hand traps now? And then you just reveal this purple <laughs> card from your hand, like it's right here. Um, they're like, oh, I'm gonna activate diagram effect. They're like, bang, hit it with the typhoon. They're like, oh, heritage? No, hit it with the typhoon. The yeah. only thing it doesn't stop, obviously, is like demise. But if they have like inspector border, mana water plus demise and like desires, like you can, they can have like it's it. Whatever. Good, like, yeah. You can have it. Yeah, if you're lo- that lucky. <laughs> yeah. It's not going to happen every game, though. And uh, I, th- I think um, one interesting thing is we're having what, infinite transients coming up. Yeah. Uh, which is like, it's the hand trap trap that everybody knows about. 
but Typhoon yeah. has still been like under the radar pretty yeah. much since it came out and was it yeah, was pretty yeah. decent against Cliff Horse and stuff. Yeah. Um Infinite Transience is like such a cool card. It's like um because yeah. like I love cards like Typhoon, because they're just like different. Because it's a literal like hand trap. Um, yeah. which uh, it'd be so fun. It'd be like really funny if they just like made like hand traps its own category of card. Um, but obviously <laughs> they wouldn't do that. But it's like it's like really nice to see that they're like recognizing. Oh, okay. Uh, how about we make hand traps like like actual trap cards, right? But mm -hmm. like they don't have stats to make them like less broken than Ghost Ogre. <laughs> Ghost Ogre, you can summon off Vitelli. You're so broken. You can't summon yeah. Typhoon off of Vitelli. Um, but yeah, Infinite Trans is really cool. It's like a Valor. Um. Like uh, on your opponent's turn, that like also ignores like Emanu Iwata on those cards, because yeah. uh, no one likes those cards. Those cards are really unfun. I hate those cards so much. <laughs> yeah. Normal summon Inspector Border. I'm gonna look at my hand of like nine Trickstar monsters. I'm just gonna be like, oh cool, <laughs> I am going to set Lilybell. <laughs> your turn. <laughs> that was a nice turn. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. It's like, uh, thankfully, I didn't get an Inspector Border dropped on me, but there was a couple <laughs> of like Emanu Iwatas. But yeah. Whatever. We can live through yeah, a lot of a lot sometimes. But most of the time I was going first, so it was fun. We just flipped reincarnation on them. <laughs> did you did you get the uh, draw and reincarnation off um during the event? No, actually. <laughs> I didn't get I didn't get a single person with uh draw reincarnation. But um I played this deck on my locals yesterday and I did it like four rounds like three rounds in a row or something, <laughs> and I just felt like an awful person. Like <laughs> but um yeah, yeah it's, it's just quite it's weird. really um, good deck building is what it is. Must be. Yeah. But like most of the time you don't like you, you can like cheese the game with like reincarnation draw, but most of the time you're just winning by either just like drawing them out of the game, like not even reincarnationing them. Mm -hmm. Or um you're just going like oh flip scapegoat, uh, normal summon literally bell, ha 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 <laughs> ninety three thousand damage, you are life points are <laughs> zero now. Yeah, that's that's always good to do. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Are there any uh, any comments you want to make on the rounds, or was it all? Um, you already gone through it all. Right, let's see. Round one. Uh, like the only like. So first of all, right. Here's like a little like hashtag little salty tidbit, right? I was the <laughs> only undefeated person going into the last round. Yep. And then I played against my friend in the last round, and then head judge boy, right? Wouldn't let me just mm -hmm. get the win off him, right? Because I was like, okay, what if we just like draw? I get to win the regional and I get these six sick worlds points, and then also he still gets off the regional, right? But then head judge boy is like, hmm, standing at our table, so we couldn't even collude illegally, right? Uh, uh, this this mayor and have never happens. He can't panic on me. Um, but yeah, and I'm just like, okay, I'm just going to play against my friend, but I know he's playing. His, he's playing true Draco device, and I'm like, oh, this is literally unwinnable. Uh, but uh, funnily enough, though, I game one, um, I went. Uh, desires banish triple licorice, mm -hmm. and then I went like uh, Candina, like set scapegoat reincarnation pass or something a strike, and then I <laughs> right. win that game um, <laughs> after banishing all the <laughs> <Okay. their> licorices, <laughs> which is kind of weird. And then the next two games, like I just get like stomped. Like uh, game three, I go first, and my like mm -hmm. my hands just like super weak, and he just goes uh, like set to you, and I twin twister it, and then he like it was like bluffs, and he just goes like desires demise. I'm like oh, I'm dead. <laughs> But yeah, and then I lost that round, and then and he was um, X one since the second yep. round, and he came yep. ahead of me somehow, even though I only lost the last round. It was so salty. Ah! No, because you got paired up with some kid. Yeah, yeah. Second, yeah. In the second round, I play against a kid, so um, it's probably why my tiebreakers were so bad. But uh, whatever. Yeah, you don't you don't get to decide. It's annoying, yeah. but uh, just how it happens sometimes. Yeah. It's why points wise, joint first, right? Yeah, I'm I'm currently 53rd on that world's leaderboard, so we're gonna we're gonna rank up. We're gonna change oh, our address to the UK, so we can maybe qualify for worlds. <laughs> We'd also have to probably poison JY in the in the mists, but you know, that, that'll is that come the only way to beat him. <laughs> I mean, he's like 140 points ahead of me, so all I have to do is like what, like win every American YCS. Win every event. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, uh, thanks very much for coming on. Uh, yeah, no are there any shoutouts you want to make? Uh, shout outs to a team, Leaves and Farmers. Uh, our, yeah. our little, um, it's the UN of Dublin Yu Gi Oh! Um, and then <laughs> shout outs to my actual team, uh, Team NCG. Yeah. Congrats with your uh, third place. And, Thank uh, you very much. Hopefully, we'll see you again. Yeah, cool. cool. Thank you. Right. Bye.
Thanks for watching this episode of Top Deck. If you have any comments or suggestions that you would like to make, leave them in the comment section down below. Check out the description for details of how you can get involved in this series. You can enter by a voice interview, or instead you could just send all of your information over Facebook Messenger, anything like that will be absolutely fine. If you want to see anything in particular from the upcoming series, then be sure to get in touch, and I'll see you guys in the next video.